Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about numeric data types. In our last class, we discussed about variables and how memory is allocated to variables. So please follow our playlist from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of the complete Python concepts. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's topic, uh, the list of data types that are available in Python are given. This is the list of the data types that are available in Python. In this numeric, we are having integer data type, float data type, complex data type and boolean data type. We are having a separate dictionary data type, set data type and in sequence we are having a string data type, list data type and tuple data type. In this class, we will discuss about this numeric data types. In our next classes, we will discuss about the remaining data types. Okay, coming to first data type, integer data type, int, we call it as integer data type. So, let us take an example data like this, 5, 8, 0, minus 5, 55. This type of values, we call it as integer values. Suppose example, a is equal to 5, 5 is an integer value. So, that is why Python, a is assigned with an integer data type. A is assigned with integer data type. What is the maximum integer value that we can assign to A in Python? Is there any limit for assigning the maximum value? No. In Python, this is very important. In Python, we do not have any limit. We can assign any value. Let us say A, a is equal to 9999999999 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, Yes, we can assign. But in C and Java, we do not have that uh, flexibility we have to we had some limit what is that limit in c in c and java integer is given as four bytes so the maximum value and minimum value that can be assigned as integer in c and java is minus two one four seven four eight three six four eight this is the minimum value which we can assign as integer in c and java this is the maximum value but in python we do not have that limit that is very important to understand for placements and understanding purpose Okay, coming to next uh, data type, float is taken as floating point data type. Uh, so, example 5.80 comma 29.676, if you are having the decimal values point uh, format, uh, then we call it as floating point numbers. A is equal to 5.6, this is a floating point number. So, A is assigned with a floating point data type, uh, data object. Uh, here we call it as object, but for now we do not call it as object data type. Okay, So, a is equal to 5.6. In Python, floating point numbers is represented in a double precision format. We are having two formats, single precision format and double precision format. So, Python uses double precision format. In double precision format, they use 64 bits for a mentioning the floating point values. So, how they will mention the, that that is a different concept. So, the maximum positive number that can be represented using double precision format is this one. This is the maximum positive number assigned using double precision format 1.7976 so on so on so on e plus 308. What is this mean is a in short, we are writing it as 1.7 into 10 power 308. That is the maximum number we can assign using double pression floating point representation. The minimum positive number that can be represented is 2.22 something uh, e minus 308. The, in short, we are writing it as 2.2 into 10 power minus 308. This is the minimum value which we can represent using a double pression floating point number. If you want to go deep into the concept of double pression format, you must have some basic concepts uh, like a number system, how we convert our decimal numbers to binary numbers. These are clearly discussed in our digital logic design playlist. If you are good at number system, then in our computer organization playlist, we clearly discussed about double pression format and single pression format, how it will be saved, uh, why we are having this maximum value, we, why we are getting this maximum value in 64 bits. All these concepts were clearly discussed in computer organization playlist. So, if you want to go deep into the concept of double pression, so please watch those classes and come back here. 
Let's take an example here. Print 1.8 E308. What's this mean? The maximum value which we can uh, show using double precision format is 1.79 something. Here we are mentioned as 1.8. What will happen now? In Python, it will show it as INF, means infinite. Above this number, anything is considered as infinite value. Okay, this is all about uh, floating point representation in uh, Python. Next, uh, next data type is complex. Uh, A is equal to 2 plus 5J. These are complex numbers representation. If our uh, numbers is given like this, it will consider it as complex. Type of A, type is a function used to give the type to which the variable is assigned to. So, A is assigned to a complex. So, the output we get here is a uh, complex. Uh, but in order to do complex complex uh, uh, logics, uh, we use a complex uh, data type. Next, uh, next one is Boolean. In Boolean, we are having only two values, true or false. True is assigned to value 1. False is assigned to value 0 in numeric context. So, it is very important in numeric construct. Example, A is equal to true. A is of type Boolean now. Print a plus 1, A is involved in numeric context. Uh, so, we are doing additions. A is having, now A is equal to true, A is having the value 1 now. If it is involved in numeric context, it will be given a value 1. So, 1 plus 1 will get it as 2. Answer is, so what is this Boolean data type and uh, what is the use of this type? Uh, we will understand when we discuss in our next class, when we discuss about comparison operators, you will get a clear idea of what, in which situations we can use Boolean data type. So, this is all about numeric data types. So, let us check the execution part in the system. Coming to implementation part, we want to show you some important concepts which we discussed in the class. Remaining concepts you practice on your own using your own examples. The important concepts which we want to show here is A is equal to C. We can assign any number, any big number. This concept, this is this flexibility is not there in C and Java languages. That is what we want to show here. In Python, A is equal to 9999999, some large number. We are adding A is equal to A plus 1. After that, we are displaying the output print A. We got some 100, some large number. So, this is one of the important concepts which we would like to show you. And the next one is in the floating point numbers. What we discussed with the biggest possible positive number that uh, we can save using floating point 64 bit uh, representation is given as 1.77 something uh, e power uh, 308. Uh, so, if you take above that 1.8 e308, uh, what is the output you will get? Uh, infinite. Uh, so, print b value, we are getting it as infinite. Uh, so that's what we'd like to show and the next one is a uh, a is equal to true is a boolean variable we are taking a boolean variable if we use it in the numeric context it will act as one true is considered as one and false is taken as zero so print uh, a plus one one plus one what's the output we got two this is what we want to show you Hope you understand the concepts. If you have any questions regarding the concepts, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.